hello welcome to my channel and today's video will be a completely non-sponsored review of lotus herbals uv screen matte gel pa triple plus spf 50 so let's get started with the video a sunscreen is undoubtedly one of the most important part of any skincare regimen or anyone who does not even have a skincare regimen but should at least use a sunscreen and uh, since I have oily skin, a bit of sensitive skin, I have been very picky about it and so today I am going to review Lotus Herbal Sunscreen SPF 50 with PA Triple Plus and supposedly it's a matte gel so for oily skin and uh, you need matte gel and for any other skin type actually you can use use a gel as well as a cream or a sunscreen lotion so let's get started with the video so let me begin with this packaging it is a bright orange tube it is quite sturdy it does not leak and yes you can use it uh, for traveling see i'm pressing it it's not coming out see i'm pressing it it's not coming out so the packaging is really good and it's flip flop and there you go over there and it hasn't come out so the packaging is really good i would say that it's actually stopping the product from coming on it's good for traveling so five out of five for packaging now as the name suggests it is a gel so it applies uh, very evenly on the skin it is almost transparent but it has a slightly whitish texture it is gel and it has a light floral fragrance and um, it does not feel sticky at all but after i applied it on my face it did take some time to dry if i may say it there was i could feel something on my skin and i needed to sit someplace and give it 10 minutes for it to completely dry so for the texture i would give it four out of five it says it contains extracts of horse chestnuts, comfrey, vanilla and the directions is to apply liberally and evenly on face and expose parts of the body every two hours. Now I have read this everywhere that we need to apply sunscreen every two hours so is it really possible? Let me talk about it. It says that you need to reapply this sunscreen after every two hours but I could feel that uh, it was still effective after three or four hours after which I needed to reapply. Obviously I was outside and I could not take my makeup completely and reapply this sunscreen. I used a different product and if you want to know about it then uh, do leave a comment down below if you want to know about how I reapplied my sunscreen after three hours and I'll talk about it over there. So coming back to this product, um, it is non oily it is a gel like texture and it did uh, do its work for around 3 to 4 hours and it works for oily skin types so it will work for every other skin type. Just make sure that you have a very good moisturizer, moisturizer underneath it and I think you will be done. If you do not use a sunscreen, people say that you have a lot of sun damage on your skin, it will harm your health. But no one actually elaborates what the sun damage is. Now, the sun rays which contains UVA and the UVB rays can actually reach us when we are inside our rooms, we are standing in the shade. And how does it affect us? It causes premature aging. It increases the chances of appearing the fine lines over here the crow's feet wrinkles over in the face it just it ages your skin it completely ages your skin but that is something that is very superficial some people would say do we really need to use a sunscreen yes you need to use a sunscreen because you do have a chance of getting skin cancer if you do not use sunscreen it reduces immensely the chances of getting skin cancer if you use a proper sunblock or a sunscreen now another thing it claims is that it protects the skin from skin tanning and I can say that yes after I've used it uh, there has been no skin tanning or at least very little which I can remove completely in a week or two using any anti tan products. So it did protect my skin from skin tanning and obviously there was no sunburn so um, the only peeve that I had was that it wasn't sweat resistant if I can say so. Uh, it did come off with the, uh, if I applied water on my face so uh, sweat and water removed this product from my face and uh, yes if you use water you come in contact with water if you're sweating too much then you need to reapply it after two hours. So overall I can say that it has uh, 
many things that I liked about it. It's lightweight texture, it's gel finish, it's high SPF content which was around SPF 50, um, PA triple plus from UVA and UVB. It did not have any white cast, it gave a very natural finish. I applied my makeup over it and yes, uh, it did form a very nice base to it. Uh, it has a very travel friendly packaging and um, all in all it's really good but if you uh, if i can say something about the cons of this product i would say it is not water resistant and another thing about this product is it's written in very fine print you can hardly see it it's very uh, small but uh, this product does contain paraben so if you are someone who is concerned about putting paraben on your face i'm still on the sideline of how para uh, harmful paraben actually is for our skin because it is a preservative at the end of the day but still there have been some suggests which say something other studies say something else but yes if you don't want to put parabens on your face then you need to avoid this product and it is not water resistant these are the two cons i could think of that uh, affected me otherwise i would say this is actually a really good product and you get this for around uh, 440 for 100 grams so it's a bit on the expensive side uh, 440 for 100 grams but then again uh, if you look at the amount of work it does the high SPF content higher the SPF obviously um, the higher will be the price and um, otherwise I would say this is actually a very good product so out of 5 I would give it around 4 4.5 so would I recommend this product? Uh, yes, I would recommend it to people of all skin types including oily and sensitive skin. Um, it's a bit on the expensive side but then again it has a very high SPF content and for that I would say it is justifiable and if you do want to get a hand on it then I would totally recommend it. So that concludes the end of this video and if you like this video then please don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to see more such videos please click the subscribe button and then you can click on the bell icon. Without clicking the bell icon you will not get a notification to my future videos so make sure you click the uh, bell icon and thank you for sharing your valuable time with me and thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.